Hi, I'm Jeff Yarger. I'm a professor of chemistry, biochemistry, and physics at Arizona State University. This video is going to introduce uh, Peter Atkins' book, Physical Chemistry for the Life Sciences, which is a textbook often used in biophysical chemistry or physical chemistry with a biological focus at Arizona State University. I'm a professor in the School of Molecular Sciences and besides resources at Arizona State University, I also have a resource at biopchem.education where you can find a lot of material related to biophysical chemistry. So I have a hard copy of the text here as well. And Peter Atkins' book on uh, physical chemistry for the life sciences is a very common and typical used book for learning physical chemistry at kind of the upper division undergraduate level. And what it really is uh, doing is taking a biological focus of, of things happening in the life sciences and applying uh, the concepts you've seen uh, in introductory chemistry, like looking at thermodynamics, looking at basic quantum mechanics, kinetics, etc. And so uh, looking at this, um, we'll start with going through, it, it has a really nice prologue and fundamentals introduction where it gives you just a quick uh, recap of things to remember from kind of introductory uh, chemistry and physics courses, uh, looking at you know fundamental gas laws, electromagnetic radiation, spectroscopy, et cetera, just kind of some of the fundamental background material that you would have already had in introductory courses, uh, just to kind of set the stage. And then part one of this text goes through biochemical thermodynamics. And at ASU, this is primarily covered in BCH 341. In fact, I would say this will dominate uh, that course being the first two thirds of the course or more, uh, where we're really gonna look in depth at, at a topic that you've already seen throughout um, your, your time in, in chemistry and also in introductory physics. But in chemistry, starting at introductory chemistry, you spend a lot of time with thermal chemistry, equilibrium. You've already introduced most of the thermodynamic concepts. We're coming back around to look at this not only to look at it from a biological focus perspective, but now also that we're uh, with a little more tools under our belt, we're gonna make sure we look at this from really the fundamental mathematical foundations using calculus or more specifically partial derivatives and partial differentiation and looking at uh, the fundamentals of thermodynamics. Also another huge critical uh, aspect of this is to really look at it kind of from a molecular standpoint. Now that you have the fundamental underpinnings of molecular sciences, the basics of, of chemistry uh, and physics under your belt, it, it, it's a good time to come back and really look at thermodynamics from a molecular standpoint and build it up from the molecular level up to the biochemical standpoint. So that's going to occupy a fair amount of the first part of biophysical chemistry. Then the last third of, of at, a, at ASU, which would be BCH 341, or the next topic we're going to get to is really uh, the time processes associated with um, not either non-equilibrium thermodynamics or often just called kinetic processes. And again, this is something you've seen in introductory chemistry and was introduced as well. We're gonna go back and look at this in a lot more detail, again, both mathematically, both being able to use um, not, uh, spreadsheets and be able to plot things and look at rate laws and stuff uh, uh, using uh, plots and fitting functions, et cetera, to, to be able to look at data in a lot more. And then of course, looking at it from a, bio, uh, a biological or life sciences perspective, meaning oftentimes looking at enzyme kinetics and enzyme processes, et cetera, which are enzymes are the catalysts um, to help kinetics in the biological world. So that covers a lot of what we would do in a one semester university kind of upper division course in biophysical chemistry or physical chemistry uh, for the life sciences, physical chemistry with a biological focus. A lot of different names for the same topics. Um, usually in a second semester or second quarter course, you would then start to cover um, 
the, not the thermodynamic aspects or the macroscopic theory, but now really starting more with the microscopic and looking at quantum mechanics, uh, quantum chemistry, and that basis for looking at spectroscopy. So the book splits it up, Atkins book splits it up into biomolecular structure, which again, we even want to emphasize thermodynamics from kind of that biomolecular perspective. Uh, but this really gets into the basics of, you know, the quantum mechanics needed to build up uh, biomolecular structure. Um, and then finally, uh, looking at its interaction with light or spectroscopy as, as one of our primary tools to get into uh, the quantum realm or the molecular realm is, is, is probing uh, through spectroscopy, through its interactions with electromagnetic radiation. And there's even uh, a specific intra, um, uh, you know, specific emphasis placed on, on molecular techniques uh, like magnetic resonance, which is a seminal technique for, for being able to look at molecular structure, especially in organic and biomolecular structures. Um, so, and then finally, this book has a lot of additional resources. Uh, so the Atlas of Structures, a whole thing on, on units, conversions, just tables of different units, constants, data, uh, tables of thermodynamic tables, uh, spectro spectroscopic tables, etc. As well as uh, brief solutions, just the final answer to odd numbers at the back of the book, and, and uh, um, you know, additional resources to help you with a lot of the problems and references, etc for this text. There is a separate thing, that, get, that a solution manual uh, that works uh, the problems out more explicitly as well. And so links to some of these will be provided at biopchem.education. So, uh, you know, to summarize, like we're gonna be um, making a, a series of videos that will go through kind of chapter by chapter the different topics that Atkins covers in physical chemistry for the life sciences. And hopefully this will be of general interest to not only students at, at Arizona State taking uh, physical chemistry with a biological focus. Uh, the second half would be uh, BCH 463, biophysical chemistry, which would be covered in the second half, uh, these part three and four of this book, and it just of general interest to anyone interested in physical chemistry or, or chemical physics. Thank you.